Welcome back friends and fellow Appalachians. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first of game guides for Fallout 76. I'll be doing a whole series of these as we get more and more into the game and understand it a little bit more. Now consider that the game is still at this point in a beta so if today's subject which is action points and things to consider changes I will do an updated game guide for you but I thought it was important to get this one out as quick as possible especially given that um, PC players and uh, PS4 players will be coming online with the beta in, in a couple of days and this may help them with their uh, playthrough. So let's get into uh, what action points is defined as and I've, I've gone to the fandom a wiki and it, it describes action points as the following. So I think that's a typo at the start. Action points in Fallout 76, I think that should be functioned similar to those in Fallout 4. However, it starts at 105 because agility starts at 1 for every player character. So previously in Fallout 4, the, um, the number was actually 60. And so base, base action points regenerate rate is 6.06 points per second or 16 points 66 per second not to 100 I'm not sure exactly what that calculation is about however action points can also be used to sprint the rate at which they deplete while sprinting relies on your endurance the agility per card marathoner and being over incumbent and we'll we'll, um, we'll cover a bit of that as we go through this uh, this game guide weapon mods can affect ap cost vats will allow you 16 shots to be queued same as fallout 4 regardless of any ap afterward lower how to lower the cost anything with the prefix light quick hair trigger advanced reflex marksman sharpshooter reduces ap costs in vats that's mostly uh, weapons and armor i would suggest anything that has heavy long rapid piercing automatic large drum full scope and sniper will increase the cost in of ap in vats so essentially that hasn't changed for fallout 4 that's exactly the same as fallout 4 so that is the best description i could get searching the internet and um, hopefully it gives you an overview of what ap represents so what i thought i would do next is show you what we are used to well, if you've played fallout 4 what you're used to um, seeing which is this particular interface and then when you engage farts you can see the ap shows up there and so most of the time ap isn't on your screen um, but you'll see in a second We'll get into some gameplay from Fallout 76 from the bit the other day and you can see straight away the screen has AP on it all of the time. And um, so it's an additional bar there and we're going to have a quick close look at it in a second and I'll explain a couple of things about it. So built into Fallout 76 is a kind of light survival mode and so that's reflected in the AP and you can see right there that we have a little knife and fork and we also have a drop of water and so to keep your ap healthy and up to speed you need to drink and you need to eat on a fairly regular basis and um, it's quite a, an interesting mechanic and we'll, we will show you some footage in a minute of how that works now you do get a warning if you're dehydrated or you need to to eat it the game will prompt you to say you're dehydrated please drink some water and um or please eat some food which is um which is good because if you're like me you'll go racing through the game get involved into things and <laughs> completely forget that um, there is this function within the AP that needs to be uh, looked after. But you can see we're at, uh, we just um, we've just discovered Alpine River cabins here, and if you look closely, obviously it's showing you how many bullets you have. But if you um, notice the AP bar here has changed, and there I'm obviously very dehydrated now. I didn't understand that this at the start of. Um, of the game this was the first kind of hour of the game um, or so and watch what happens when we get enemies now the enemies in this game holy dooly they 
they flood you. You'll see this in a second, but watch closely what happens to the AP. Um, because you, because I'm dehydrated, I'm going to run out of agility very, very quickly, very quickly, as I'm trying to get away from these guys. And it's important that you understand that because you can see how they are just harassing the heck out of you, um, and they are pretty quick unless your agility, your action points, your AP, and your health is on point. So. It is telling you, you can also see it's telling you to, to heal up at the bottom there. Um, I'm going to show you in a little while how quickly the agility point, sorry, the action action points run down. Um, see how fast that, is, that bar is going down and suddenly I'm, my food is fine but my water is not. And so now I'm, at, I'm completely out of puff, completely out of puff. So I've got to actually stand and fight. Now you can still stand and fight, but um, yeah, it's much better if and you can see your AP is actually coming up as you're fighting. Um, so very important to stay hydrated, very important to keep those bars managed as much as possible. You also notice that part of the AP bar is red and that's because you need to drink. Once you, you're fully um, up with the amount of water you drink and the food that you eat, you'll have a full bar AP. So, hence why I would suggest that if you're playing the game, make sure that you're you're continually managing your AP. Most of the time it's not too bad, but as soon as it starts to drop, um, start managing it a little bit, stop and have a drink and have a, a relax. So as we read earlier, another thing that will um, impact your AP is if you're over incumbent. And you can see here, I've blown up the little bar here. And you see right in the middle, it's got a little red box with a big weight on it. And that, mean, that basically means I have too much weight that I'm carrying. Now, um, I probably need also to eat a little bit. Um, I, I'm not sure if I've got a disease here. Obviously, um, I, I rushed through the game the other day and played for about four, four and a half hours. And so the next opportunity I get, um, I'm going to go back and spend a little bit more time looking and try and understand uh, the mechanics of the game. So I want to leave this footage in to show you, because I'm over in incumbent, how quickly your AP is going to be chewed up. So... The footage I'm going to show you, we're at Sutton, and I'm about to run down the hill here, and just watch what happens to the AP as I run down the hill, and see how far I get, um, you'll see how quick, look how quickly, when you jump by the way, it will also eat up your AP, if you jump off of something, it will eat your AP, but look at how quickly that is actually going down. It's going down pretty quickly, haven't gone very far, and as it turns out, I run into a whole heap of en enemies and my AP is completely gone and you can see how slow I am now moving. But the thing is, as opposed to Fallout 4 when you're incumbent, your AP adjusts. So you can see, even though I'm slow, I'm still able to function. I'm not kind of going really slowly. Um, and this is where I ha I I'll actually get onto my microphone and go, I need some help. I'm absolutely uh, out of juice. I need help. I've look at the amount of enemies that are. I'm getting shot from everywhere, and um, AP's pretty low. But the good thing is that, as you can see, I can still fight enemies pretty good, and um, you can see the AP's coming back up, and so I can get a little bit more involved in the fight fairly, fairly quickly. As a bonus, of course, to solve your um, over incumbent problem, there are a couple options I'm going to show you as a bonus right now. And um, so, first of all, there is these storage bins that you'll find around the place. This particular one's in the main train station in Sutton. Um, I came in to do some trading to get rid of weight, but I found so it's my stash box, and this links to your camp system you will actually be able to find this in your camp system as well. So you can dump all your junk in there, if you know where they are. Obviously you'd have to fast travel, and there is a there is a cost to fast traveling. Or you can just 
drop your carb system, transfer everything in there, um, or uh, you know, travel back to your base, and you'll see how my uh, Dan in the bottom left hand corner had the weight has dropped to 99. Um, out of 160, so 160 is your starting weight. Um, there's a few things that I pick back up, and you'll see just at my entry right at the bottom in the left hand corner, it shows you your weight. So that's how you get over that. And the final thing, of course, is your perk cards. And I'm assuming that when everybody uh, levels up to level one, that they get this specific perk card in their agility uh, part of the special. Which is action boy, action points regenerate 15% um, quicker. I don't know, I can't remember if I picked this or not, but I would suggest that it is really worthwhile first up picking this and it will help to reduce the impact of um, your agility points or your action points reducing quickly. And also the way that the uh, perk cards work you can actually choose this a more than once so i would suggest that the second time you choose it will be 30 percent and then 45 percent i'm guessing at that but generally what i've seen from other perk cards and how they work i would think that that's um the, the i think you can choose them up to three times and it will keep increasing the um benefit that that perk card gives you so hopefully that will help you as you go through um Fallout 76 to have a much better experience in the game and understand the mechanics. Obviously, it's still in the beta um, um, build, and I'm also starting to learn more and more about the game. So I'm trying to give you as much information as I have at this point to help you um, with the understand the mechanics and understand the game a little bit better. If there is anything I missed that you know of, please leave some. Um, information or make some comments down below and um, I'll certainly give you a shout out and give you some credit for um, updating me but that's as much as I could find out about action points and the things to consider at this point in the game's evolution. Anyway guys thanks for watching I hope you found this informative I hope it's useful and we'll catch you next time on Gaming for XP. See ya!